if you're fat, it's because you're lazy. Like, stop saying that it is some kind of like hormonal deficiency or or like, some emotional disorder. Don't stop inflicting yourself on the rest of the world. I don't want to see you at the gym until you are an acceptable size. You are horrendous, and you are putting me off my workouts. Stay home. Eat better food. If you have to run, get a running machine delivered to your house. I don't want to see you. <laughs> you may disagree with me. That's fine. Come debate me. Um, but so long as there is a politics in this country, as there is, I will continue to be as offensive as possible. There he is. That's Milo Yiannopoulos, our uh, guest who is, hasn't arrived yet. Oh, he's here. He's actually in the he, building. He's in the building. Yeah. He's making a grand entrance. I agree with both of those statements. I uh, I also uh, don't feel bad for fat people. You know, work out, eat better, and uh, don't tell me it's your metabolism or your big bones. Just get into shape. I mean, show some discipline. Milo's in the there house. There he is. There he is. How are you? How are you, bro? I'm really good. I'm yeah. fine. I'm sorry I'm a little late. No, that's that's fine. quite... Look, yeah. it, it, it just increases your uh, mystique. <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming the, the conservative journalist equivalent of Mariah yes. Carey. That's and, right. I, and I'm totally fine with that. That's okay. You can be a diva. It's all good. <laughs> By the way, now... You're now, not going to get any other kind of Milo. I'm sorry. Now that I've met you, yes. you don't look gay. <laughs> you see, I've come in here. I've come in here. I've come in here, diamante, like military, whatever, and huge sunglasses on, like Nicole Richie Dior the, the, stuff. Uh, the pearls around the uh, wrist, I think, is what uh, that kind of. Did, I, did it give it away? Yeah. Did it give it away? You know, people who meet me don't know I'm gay. You know. <laughs> Listen, you, uh, you, for those uh, those unenlightened, albeit uh, dull people out there who who are not familiar with you, you are both like, of them. Both of both them. Both of them. Two people in America. Who they're, heard they're, of me I yet. mean, you are you described as the most famous supervillain on the internet. No, no, darling, darling, the most fabulous supervillain. Fabulous. On the okay. Internet. Excuse, please, excuse me. Excuse please. me. And uh, who are your producers? You, you, My God. You, you actually <laughs> had a. Uh, uh, you did this c campus tour this past uh, college season yes. called the dangerous the F word. I'm that rhymes with it. maggot. I, no, I can say it, right? Or I can't say well, it. You can, well, well, Am I allowed to say it? Can he say it? It's the can you, can say it? Wait, wait. you can say it. I can say it. Yes, wait, you wait, can. I can say it. Are you sure? Well, if Chris Rock can say the N-word and I can say Jew bastard, he's gay. He can okay. say it. Can I say it? Yes. Sure. Well, okay. it My tour is called the Dangerous Faggot Tour. Well, that's a horrible um, thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm totally offended. <laughs> um, oh, okay. I, can, I can hear your sponsors calling from the other room. Uh, no, um, yes, it is. And it's actually not over yet. We're starting again bigger and better than ever. And it's, I'm going to get a tour bus. It's going to be a full production show. It's going to be fan Fantastic. Right, before we, but before we get to what you discussed and all the campus stuff you've been sure. through, which Bernard does a very good job of pointing out, just so you know, he loves you. Um, oh, thank your you. story is, uh, is, is kind of different in that uh, even though you come off uh, very gay and your tour is named that, you, uh, you, you, you admit, you admit that you're not, you're not even sure you're gay, that it was basically a rebellious thing for your parents. And oh, no, I just, chose, I just chose to be gay to wind my mother up. Um, and it just right. sort of, it just sort of stuck. And what happened? You just I'm kept going. I'm in a rut now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stuck in a rut. No, but, no, no because, I listen, mean, there's a girl in the media in New York City named is Jenna Wolf, okay? Yeah. Jenna, very nice I've, girl. I love her. I've heard of her. Good for, right. She was straight for 20 something years, right? Yes. Right. All of a sudden, she woke oh, up one day at 30, no, she became no, no, a no, lesbian. No, no, no. Lesbianism is different. I don't Why believe, is that? I don't believe in lesbianism. Because if you're going to insert something, you, you, you no, really no, got to be I gay. I mean, how can you have sex without a... I don't know what right. I'm allowed to say when I'm not right. now. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I don't believe in lesbians. <laughs> All the studies show that female sexuality is much more malleable than male sexuality. Right. And the I reasons that right. women have relationships with women tend to be more like they had a bad relationship with a man or they're you know, right. getting into their 30s and they're still alone or whatever. You right. know? I don't really believe it, in lesbians. Have you it's, ever it's, been, it's optional. But, right. Have you ever been with a woman at all in your life, though? Ever? Of course. You have been. Of oh, course. Nice. Now, yes. listen, speaking of gay... It's, it's, my, it's sort of my equivalent of charity. You know, I don't... I don't give. I don't, no, 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 because I, I don't give. To, I don't give. Well, I mean, I do give a little to charity. I give a little to veterans charities and a couple of like sensible places. But no, otherwise, I feel like I should give back. You know, for oh, all the, sure. the bounteous, you know, glory, glorious, wonderful life that I have. I feel like I should give something back to society. Love it. We'd so, love one, to have him. so once a year, I do. I do. Yeah. Once a year. Once like a, a year. Birthday. What, what's the event that uh, you will give your penis? Thanksgiving. To somebody? Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> you like this, this, instead of stuffing the turkey. Oh. You, you, now listen. Oh. Look at my part, look at my partner here. Look at him. Stand up a second. Look what, at this guy. Is, what, what? People say that he he dresses like a gay man. Do you look look at him? No, no, no. no. Take not, your shirt off. I, 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 I usually wear skinny jeans. Tight enough. It's no, not I, I, use, I, I, I usually he, wear skinny he, jeans. He wears skinny, you wear skinny jeans. jeans. Normally, I, yes. Is that because you don't want any more children? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I wear them every day except for today. And I'll be honest with you. You, you were coming in jeans for and me I'm like, because you didn't want me to hit on you. Exactly How right. But now that I, no, now that I met you, now that I met you, you I should have worn my skinny jeans. How conceited <laughs> are you? My goodness, they didn't realize how beautiful I am in the flesh. 
Um, no, it's no, adorable. <laughs> My goodness, no. Well, you'll be you'll be happy to know you're safe because I have I have a predilection for darker skin. I'm afraid. So. Oh, he oh, likes yes. black guys. That's yes. a, yeah, but Bernard told me that you're way too white for me. Wait, really? I'm pretty tan though. Actually, I'm not white. Let white. He's a lot whiter than I am. No, actually, yeah. no. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah you maybe. Got <laughs> but it's, it's dark. <laughs> maybe if it, was, if it was dark and I was lonely. <laughs> <laughs> You might get lucky. Now, listen, your latest controversy, Milo Yiannopoulos on what Bernie and Sid on WABC, is uh, you've been banned from Twitter. I have. You actually went to I watch have. that horrendous uh, piece of crap, uh, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Oh, and you wrote a review goodness. on Breitbart.com. Oh, my goodness. And what happened? Well, I wrote a very scathing review, but a very wonderful review. It's very funny. It was great. It. I did read um, it. Yeah. No, it, uh, and I, I just didn't like the movie very much because it's garbage. Uh, and the, the, the black ghostbuster, Leslie Jones, was sort of deployed by Sony to play the victim on Twitter because the movie was tanking. And she sort of tried, went and picked a fight with me because, of course, she did. And, you know, in, in the, the hierarchy of victimhood, you know, like the oppression league tables. You call it the, the pyramid of, a, of a, the pyramid of oppression. Yes. Uh, black women rank higher than white gays. So, um, so she won. So she wins. <laughs> <laughs> she funny. wins. That's funny. You That's know? true. I mean, I, I, you know, as uh, we just mentioned my, my sexual preferences. Yeah. Anyway, I posted a picture of her a while ago and said at least Ghostbusters has a hot black guy in it. Um, and you know, she looks remarkably like one of my ex-boyfriends. Um, you know, <laughs> not so hot as That's a, a compliment. Not so hot as a girl, but if she right. was a dude, yeah. Anyway, so she blocked me and I and I did a screenshot of her blocking me and said, ugh, rejected by another black man. Um, and, That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> well, look, I've got this rule, like, you know, you know, be twice as funny as you are offensive and you'll be okay. You know, but well, apparently you, that doesn't hold. Well, if your hierarchy is correct, a couple of days ago, Ross Limbaugh, for example, said to, I forget who he's talking to, he said, enough with the slavery. E enough. We've heard about it. <laughs> so now knowing you and knowing how politically incorrect you are. Yes. And the way you talk about I'm Leslie quite Jones. i slavery, but only in the bedroom, you know. Right. So, so you tend to agree. <laughs> and it's sort of inverted. Ah, so, so, it's inverted. So you, you know? agree with Russ Limbaugh, take, right? I let them take it out on me. So you agree with You, you, you agree I, with I'm, Rush. I'm walking reparations. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you agree with Rush, though, right? Enough of all that stuff. Enough of all well, the... Well, I think that... Um, I think that, you know, the, the, what the black community still has to deal with, partly as a result of the Clintons. I mean, Bill Clinton signed into, signed into law that the, the law that basically destroyed the black family. He put every black dad in the country in prison for smoking a blunt. It's insane. Right. I mean, I don't know what your, what your views on drugs are. I think the war on drugs has basically been a disaster. And Agreed. It is, and it has hit black families really hard. And who's responsible for that? Bill Clinton. And, he and by extension... Before the 92 election. By extension, Hillary Clinton. Well, yeah. I mean, she's... Of, of course. I mean, Bill Clinton, of course, also put to death Ricky Ray Rector, the retarded guy who had the mental age of seven, um, who said to his... Uh, his said to his uh, cell... Uh, his, his, what do you? I don't know what the real word me, is. Me, they, no, 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 no. They're called screws. Like, but what are the actual name for somebody? Like the, the police officers in a cor prison. Corrections officers. Oh, Correct. COs. Yeah. Are they called COs? Okay. Right, See, right. I wouldn't know that. I should know this. Right. I, you know, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm right. looking, well, forward, looking forward to jail. Keep you, going you know where you're going. You'll get there. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. no <laughs> honestly, like, the, American jails would not be a punishment for me, let yes, me tell you. Exactly. Um, so no, <laughs> I'm doing everything I can. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'd be ruling the place in days. Oh, man. No. Sorry. Sorry. But, um, no, I, uh... <laughs> you would be this, sore. This guy, no, no, no. You don't think so? No, it's heavy duty down there. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it's like calluses on the hands, you know. Uh, no. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You're only encouraging it's all me. Good. Behave. So, uh, so, um, no, I mean, Ricky Ray Rector is this guy that had a mental age of seven, and he, said, he told his CEO, he told his screw, um, you know when they have the last meal? I said, what do you want for your last meal? He said, I want a turkey dinner and some ice cream. And he said... Uh, I'll take the turkey dinner now and I'll have the ice cream after the execution. This is the mental wow. awareness of this guy. This guy should oh. not have been, should not have been killed. Hmm. Bill Clinton said, fry him. So he went to the chair. Uh, and of course, you know, before the 92 election, when he wanted to appear tough, he signed this law that, that did more than anything else in American history to destroy the black family. Now, there are some valid grievances the black community have. They just don't realize that most of them are leveled at the, you know, most of them, uh, you know, are, are ultimately Democrat things, sure. you know. Um, there are some problems, and they deserve way better schools. They deserve way better, you know, uh, public services. They deserve to be policed properly so that their communities can recover from endemic crime. What they don't necessarily deserve is the right to throw their toys out the pram, behave like children, and indulge in the sort of victimhood and grievance culture that the left has, has tried to do with gays, tried to do with women, and tried to do with blacks, because what they basically want to do is replace 
you know, the absent father with the state. They want for everybody to be de dependent on the state and vote for Democrats because Democrats are going to, you know, give them lots of freebies. Well, this is so socially destructive, and it is actually the most sociopathic and unkind thing you can possibly do. So I don't like Black Lives Matter as a solution, but I wouldn't say that um, I wouldn't say that black people have it easy. If this is the Bernie situation. You're listening to Milo Yiannopoulos, who's just uh, wowing us with his brilliance. And, uh, and, I know, and, and, and I'm the, not just a pretty face, right? The accent so. is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, also. How, does guy, how does a guy from Bensonhurst have that type of accent? I'm just, I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're going that. <laughs> we no, are going to get. I live in Compton now. I don't, but I wish. No, we're okay. going to get into this uh, uh, college campus cry bully uh, mm -hmm. craziness, and also uh, Milo says feminism is a cancer, and much, much more here on the Bernie and Sid Show. One eight hundred eight four eight nine two two two. Back after this. Monster Talk 77 WABC. Back here on Bernie and Sid on 77 WABC. Uh, we're joined in studio by the fearless Milo Yiannopoulos, the most fabulous supervillain on the internet. He is on his way, uh, I believe, to uh, London. After it's a, a little, where are you going shopping after I'm this? I'm not entirely fearless. I'm quite scared of lesbians. And I'm quite scared. That's of, true. Um, and vapors. Those are the two things that vapors scare you most? Are, vapors are very sinister. Yeah. Very sinister. So those two things scare you the most? Yeah. What is it with gays and lesbians? You guys don't like each oh other. Oh my God, we hate each other. Yeah, what I is know, this it's LGBTQ? I know. We all hate each other. Well, now that you mention that, I've got a friend down in Florida. But why? She, she's been a lesbian her whole life. She didn't mm -hmm. change all of a sudden at the age of 25. Yeah. She says to me that uh, there is no Q. There is, it's LBGT. Donald Trump included the Q last week. People oh, there shouldn't be a T either. I uh, know. I wrote an article saying drop the T. Look, you know, the transgender thing is profoundly homophobic. I mean, we used to, like 20 years ago, parents would have to come to terms with the fact that their son might be gay. And they'd be thinking, oh, what did I do? How did I turn my son gay? Well, now you could just say, oh, he's got a disorder. He ought to have been born a girl. You know, my son is like a little bit, a little bit faggy and likes, <laughs> likes boys. I'm allowed. To, uh, you said I was allowed. No, you're okay. allowed. you said That's I was good. allowed. I'm absolutely. <laughs> you know, my son is a bit faggy. You know, he's playing with Barbie instead of Action Man. And he's like paying a bit too much attention to boys, you know. Right. Before, you'd have to do some soul searching. You'd have to be like, oh, sure. what did I do? But now he's got a disorder. Now he was supposed to, it sort of gets parents off the hook. For right. like, we're invest but, investigating, interrogating their own bad parenting. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. But what's your beef, no pun intended, with lesbians? Oh, I just don't really believe in them. I just don't believe they exist. I mean, all the, uh, you know, if if, the, if, the, if lesbianism was a thing, Suetonius uh, and Juvenal would have told us so about it in the ancient world. They I really see. didn't. Um, and all the studies show that, that that women sort of wander into relationships with women. You don't think there's enough room for men and women to be gay? It seems kind of petty. Like, hey, we're, we're, you know, we only we could be gay. You don't no, think there's enough why room would you, for? Why would you assume that male homosexuality is the same as female so homosexuality? Men and women are not the same. Our brains work differently. Our bodies work differently. We have different hormones. We're, we're very, very different. Right. If this is a thing from the left believing in like everything is socially constructed and you know like genders and no um you know, men and women are very very different there is no reason to suppose out, like out of the gate that men sleeping with men would very would, would have any of the same motivating factors or be remotely similar to women sleeping with women All why right. no um you know similarly the trans thing you know one the, the lesbian and gay is a sexual orientation transgenderism is a psychiatric disorder why are these two things clubbed together i mean i don't use the word offensive very often but that's offensive you know like so one of the one of them is a brain disease and one of them is a sexual orientation why do these things have, and the other thing of course for me more importantly for me is, is in culture you know gay culture the best gay culture is all about pushing the boundaries testing the limits of what can be thought and said you know taboo breaking drag culture outrageous jokes f experimenting with fashion gays are massively overrepresented partly because we test higher for iq on average than you guys sorry um <laughs> and partly because no, partly offended. because we have cultural license to sort of push the boundaries of, of everything so, so we're massively overrepresented among artists inventors politicians you name it um that's gay culture at its best the trans thing what they want to do they just want to control you they want to make you boring they want to like you know police your pronouns they want to you know all it's so these yeah, two things too, too you know that the trans lobby um trans lobbies priorities are entirely at odds with what's best for gay people so no i don't think they should have anything to do with one another and oh, speaking of women uh, feminism yeah you must be proud of hillary clinton breaking the glass ceiling and uh, being the first female <sighs> candidate do you know no i'm doubt? building a, i'm building a house in london at the moment and i've just had my builders um do a cost estimate to build an actual glass 
glass ceiling um, the, in between, the, between the third and fourth floors you that no fine. women are allowed above like <laughs> the third <laughs> floor like no 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 because it's going to be so, my bedroom and my dressing room and all the rest see, of it and I'm gonna, I want to have an actual glass ceiling they say it's going to cost about $50,000 so I'm, I'm basically sort of, here's, yeah, what I'm getting, here's what I'm getting from you okay <laughs> you hate <laughs> women <laughs> I'll tell you why before, oh, you, start, before you start quiet, me how do you start me how do you start me before you start me where would gay people be without fag hacks are you kidding that's fine are you kidding you turn gay because of because of your mother, you you, have, <laughs> you don't no. like lesbians and their women, and you don't like feminists, no. their women. No. So you like only like women to go shopping I with want, you on Fifth Avenue. Well, I mean, yes. <laughs> I, wa- <laughs> I want. Women, Bottom line, I want women to be happy, and feminism doesn't make women happy. Lesbianism doesn't make women happy. You know, the, it, it, women have been getting steadily unhappier for fifty years, more in fact, ever since the Second World War. Every ten years, all the surveys say the same thing: women report themselves more prone to depression, more likely to attempt suicide more likely to be generally unhappy with life. This cannot be unconnected to a woman's changing role in society, to the pressures that are placed on women to have children, have a career, do all of this kind of stuff, right? Now, these two things cannot be completely, uh, completely disconnected from one another. I want women to be happy, and women who are with other women are not happy. The depression rates among lesbians are sky high. The obesity rates among lesbians... That's the a feder- fact. That's the, a, federal a fact. Government, the federal government spent three million last year working out why lesbians are all so fat. Um, <laughs> that's true. You can, it's true. I didn't they make that are, up. Oh, wait, uh, no, statistically, Lesbian yes. domestic violence uh, is an epidemic. epidemic. You know, I wrote about this. I gave it the very... Um, you know, because uh, I, I am known for my tact and mm. subtlety, my oh, delicacy, sure. my lightness right. of touch right. is, is one of the things I'm known for. So I called this article in Breitbart, Attack of the Killer Dykes. Um, and it was, <laughs> no, I'm allowed. I'm yes, allowed. You, yes, I'm allowed. Right. I'm, I'm one of them. This is your vaguely. world. This is your world. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's about the lesbian obese, uh, the lesbian domestic violence epidemic. And yeah. nobody wants to talk about it. But, it, you know, almost if you, if you are in a lesbian relationship with, um, uh, if you're in a lesbian relationship, yeah. you are so much more likely to have been the victim or the aggressor in a domestic violence you pre- you These know, women aren't happy. You pretty much described Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, yeah. well, of co- only Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Uh, or, I love or, that man or, so much. If you believe the rumors, the lady that uh, broke the, uh, the glass ceiling. If you believe the rumor, she seems, well, is, oh, is, is she I'm, happy I'm or so unhappy? Glad, I'm so glad you've broken the dam on that because I posted on Facebook this really funny joke and I wasn't sure if you'd let me say it or now. But did you see the picture of Hillary's tongue? No. Did you see it? There's like I, a hole of in her it. tongue. No, 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 no. There's a, no, 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 no. There's a doing? picture. No, listen. There's a hashtag that is trending at the moment: Hillary's tongue online, and it's a picture of her. You know, she kind of sticks her tongue out when she laughs. Yeah, She's like, yeah, ah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> she, there's, I there's a hot. picture. No, there's a picture. Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, because you're just imagining what you do with it. No, um, but I just didn't realize you were gay. Uh, no, I did, um, there's, there's a picture, and it looks like there's a hole in her tongue. And so I posted it on Facebook with Huma must have had a marble up there. <laughs> uh, <so laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, snap. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's funny, man. Hey, listen, my way out, we're, we're going to get into the oh, campus uh, craziness. Also, he, he loves Donald Trump. Donald oh, Trump, daddy. Call, call him daddy. daddy. He calls him oh, daddy. daddy. And we're going to get into all that on Bernie and Sid back after the news right here with my 77 WABC. All right, back here on the Bernie and Sid Show. Our 22 minutes, Curtis and Kubi come your way. And it's been great, great show. We spent the first hour talking about Hillary's speech last night, Chelsea breaking down the finale of the DNC. And we've been graced the last 40 minutes by the presence of a really funny, really smart, great guy, Milo Yiannopoulos. Fabulous. Let, Fabulous. Me, let me stop you. Let me stop you. Yeah, In about nice. 45 minutes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is on Periscope if you all want to watch. On Periscope, you yeah. can check so, out the fabulous... You mother. might not be able to find me on Twitter, but you can watch me on Periscope. Exactly. We'll, we'll, we'll get you back you, on Dorsey. Twitter. We're going to get you back on Twitter. He's got on pearls, uh, pearl bracelets, oh, uh, an Air Force jacket, glasses, no, blonde look, hair. I got, Hold I got, on. I got, I got I got the name strip, you know. So are you, are you trying, hey Bernard? Are you trying to, for the people watching Periscope, are you trying to help them figure out who's the gay guy? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, between you and him, it's hard to tell. <laughs> well, uh, trust me when I tell you. No, 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 no joking you know, aside, you're, I'm you're in baggy pants today. Yeah, but, but look, yeah, the they, shirt. They're, they're not baggy. They're not <laughs> no. baggy. Your regular jeans must be gay as oh, hell. Gay as hell. They're gay really gayer are. than yours. I swear to you. He, no, my jeans aren't gay. They're black. No, no. They're black. They're true religion. They're black jeans. They're ripped. They're little rips and things. And you have two holes by the. By your genitals instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> and normally, uh, Sid- I don't. I don't. I don't use that side anyway. Um, no, I. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, if I had to, if I had to, I would say you're probably like a. I don't know. You're like on the gay scale. You're like a three. 
Really? There's a little gay in you. What, yeah, what number, from time to time. What number on the gay scale uh, do you have to hit before you end up in a hotel room with a guy like you late on a Saturday night? Oh, so, uh, no, no, two. You know, like two, it's one, two, a couple of beers. Wow. I nice. mean, have you, see, you. have you seen me? Please. You're in. Please. You're in, man. If you look at me from behind, it's just a mop of blonde hair. And, you know, like, it's, uh, it's, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. All right, so listen, Milo Yiannopoulos, listen, you're on this da- dangerous, what, tell us again, what is it? You can say it. You know what, I'm no. going to give you a... No, re- I can't I know say I, it. No, listen, listen, listen. I am going to I gave Anne call to one of these. I'm going to give you both. Are you friends with Anne Coulter? Yeah, 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 but she does, she, course, she's course. self-employed. I'm going <laughs> to give the two of you a lifetime retroactive fag pass. Okay? Really? Wow. So you can say <laughs> gay, oh queer, and fag, and you can restore gay to its prestige meaning, the best meaning. Right. Gay so meaning lame, rubbish, crap, Hillary supporting. You know, like that is gay. Sometimes I, there's no equivalent, you right, know? It's right. like, dude, By the you're way, being gay. You can say no homo now because those DNC emails came out and one of the exchanges said, I isn't love it, you, and the other guy said no homo. And it, no, there was no outrage. Isn't because, it interesting how they talk when no one's watching? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, there, and there was no outrage because it wasn't an R. NC uh, email. Of course. So it's now okay Can you even to imagine say, no how homo. normal people speak is only mm. outrageous when it's a conservative. So listen, speaking of which, you are on this campus tour, dangerous F word that on, rhymes with no, Megan on, tour. I'm it, not going to say it. it. I we want it. I can't. They do it. Oh, okay. So, fine, so fine, anyways, fine. on this tour, and you, you, you're assaulting all these uh, coddled, uh, thumb sucking, bedwetting uh, uh, <laughs> students. Special snowflakes. Yes, all these these, these politically correct uh, weasels who had taken away <laughs> f- f- the First Amendment, the rights on <laughs> campus, and you were actually attacked at DePaul University by these Black Lives Matters people, assaulted almost. And so what's, what's the whole, uh, what's the motivation behind going to, on college campuses and uh, mm. subjecting yourself to all this vitriol? Oh, well, I love it. I feed off it. It's like, it's like energy. It fuels the dark abyss in the, in the, in, you know, this, this black shard in the middle of my heart, which can only be fed by hatred. Mm. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> so, so, I bought all that. It <laughs> sounded great. I know, right? It's just the British accent. Right. Just, you know, I'm talking to you and I'm becoming like transatlantic, you know, like sort of, no, 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 I do this. When I've been in America too long, I kind of go somewhere in the middle of the ocean, like, um, like Madonna about 2008. Right. Or, or Gillian right, Anderson right, 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 or Leak right. House, yeah, you know? Got, yeah. I'm going to try and pull it back. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Uh, Hi, I'm Mario Leonopoulos, and you're listening to. <laughs> you can do That's it. It's better. So my college tour is. Uh, you see, um, this is how I actually talk. Yeah. I've been three, in America for three months. Um, really, you can't fix anything in America until you fix education, because it is the universities here that are churning out people who believe in conspiracy theories and people who believe in garbage and who are not being taught critical skills and not being exposed to the full range of of, uh, of speech and thought and art not being ex- ex- uh, exposed to conservative points of view. The risk to political correctness, which is posed by this sort of nexus of uh, academia, the entertainment industry, the media, is very dangerous because it's making respectable, reasonable mainstream opinions off limits. It's making it dangerous to talk about studies, you know, like about the wage gap or about campus rape culture, both of which are myths, by the way. Canards. Uh, yeah, canals. Um, it's making it dangerous to, to, to talk about facts. And that, the, way, the place you fix that is universities. If American universities and other conservatives are unwilling to do that, because conservatives in this country seem to think writing an essay about something is the same as doing something about it, uh, then I will. And I have come, like Alexis de Tocqueville and Christopher Hitchens, from the continent, from mm. Europe, to save America. Uh, um, look, the point is... This stuff is so out of control on campuses that it is accepted as as the norm to have very far left wacky opinions and to characterize perfectly respectable conservative points of view as hate speech, abu- abuse, abuse, right. and harassment. If you wear a sombrero on Cinco de Mayo, you're a, a racist. Oh yeah, but you know what I'm doing? Uh, so the, um, basically, the biggest cult is called cultural appropriation. You're not supposed to dress up in quote unquote oppressed cultures costume. Anyway. I don't think they like calling costumes, but they are costumes. Uh, this uh, Cultural appropriation is just something that the left does to make you feel like a racist. Actually, it's just how art works. So I'm uh, going to Yale in October, just before Halloween. And Yale, of course, is the epicenter of this craziness. Yale's probably the, the most lunatic campus in America. And they had... Mm. Do you remember that viral yes, video of the yes, kids yes. screaming? I think Two years ago. Everybody saw that yeah. last year, yeah. The chubby uh, Last girl. October. Well, they're, of course, they're all fat. That's why they're... <laughs> that's why they're... <laughs> I, I said chubby. That's yeah. why they're... No, no, no. She yeah. was fat. Right. That's 
that's why they're that's why they're social justice warriors because they want us to be as miserable as they are. Well, I decline. Mm. Um, you know. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to going to Yale where tensions are running high and everyone's a bit fraught. And as I as I said, you know, I'm, I'm known for my tact and delicacy. So I will be giving a lecture on cultural appropriation called Famous Cultural Appropriation from History, and I will be doing so in full Native American. Okay, let, let's say that we agree with you that this is uh, the big issue. The it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, Donald Trump is a guy that you are supporting. But, you believe that Daddy. the day that Donald Trump Daddy. ends up in the White House is the day all that stuff goes. It's going to be fine. It's going to go away. No, it's not going to evaporate overnight. But the yeah. effect of Donald Trump is to it, he represents an existential threat to political correctness because what he what he shows is if you double down instead of backing down, mm. if you restate your opinion even more firmly rather than apologizing for causing. Okay, but that's, wait, 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 wait. Let him finish. That's okay. a great point. Excellent point. I thought it was an excellent point. But can't be fascinating. But, 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 interrupt the best but, bit of the show if you, can, if you feel the need to. Can it be both? Can he be doubling down? <laughs> can he be doubling down, which is effective, and people like him enjoy that, but at the same time... Not enjoy it. It's, it's what you should do. Could it's he be right doubling do. down and mm -hmm. at the same time be nasty or come off as some of the things that you Who don't cares? like when people call him? Who, you don't cares? Care? Okay. Who cares if he's a bit mean? I'm mean. People love me. <laughs> Have right. you been listening yeah. to your own show? I'm horrible. <laughs> I'm yeah. horrible. I'm a mean, nasty person, but people like it. Why? Because there's this cult of niceness in America. It's like, uh, you can't say that. That's really inappropriate. Like, sod that. Like, I'm so done with that. No. Enough of the niceness. Enough of the offense taking. Enough of grievance culture. I think we need some mean people back in culture. I think we need truth tellers. We need waspishness and bitchiness and yeah. cattiness. Yeah. We need a Bring it on, baby. We need a re-injection of mean into this country so people can actually start telling the truth again and if it takes you know nobody can resist the truth wrapped in a good joke if it takes people to say it with comedy rather than you know as conservatives have done in the past come across as a little bit resentful or or, or hateful um if, if it takes do you know a sassy gay brit doing it with comedy then fine whatever <laughs> but <laughs> um if only such a person were available uh no but you know what i what i see with trump is every time you know people are like oh my god that's really offensive um he just he just comes up with something even worse and what they're realizing is that this calling people sexist calling people racist calling people homophobic calling people transphobic is so ineffective now, right. it's become meaningless. It's true. And we should all bow down at the altar of the God Emperor Trump and oh, thank right. him. Oh, thank that's him. That's right, that's what. He gives a big thank fat little finger. For doing yes. that to America for restoring you tell him, Milo. for restoring oh. truth and comedy how about, and realness how about that, that, to American culture. Because that, American conservatives for 30 years have failed. They have failed to fight back political correctness. They have failed to win arguments. They have failed to beat the left on any of the, the places that matter. Culture, academia, the news business, entertainment. They have failed in all of those environments. Trump has mastered those environments. He, you know, it, Trump is winning. Trump is beating political correctness. Witness and you should all yes. thank him every look, look, day for a, it. A, the, uh, the, the, his campaign manager who supposedly was grabbed by the arm at some point by the woman. It didn't happen. He stayed there when he could easily have fired the guy. The PC thing to do would, would have been to fire. And his tweet of the taco bowl on Cinco de Mayo. Oh, so he, good. Thumbs we up. love Hispanics. I love Hispanics. We love Hispanics. Brilliant. brilliant. So Hilarious fantastic. also. And, li and look, at, look at how he controls the entire media. You've got senior editors at BuzzFeed calling Trump Tower to check if that's actually on the menu. And of course it was. They called the wrong restaurant. So they published this story or, or tweeted or something right. saying, oh, they don't even serve that at Trump Tower. It's all a fake. <laughs> you and idiot. it was like, idiot. no, because you, you, you phoned the Trump Grill instead of the Trump Cafe because you're retarded. It's like, it was right there in the tweet. It was right there in the Facebook post. You're an idiot. Yeah. Uh, but this is the level of control that he exerts over the media. They're desperate to catch him out on stuff that doesn't and, matter. They're and, missing the stuff that does. And here's another a really brilliant, courageous thing that you're doing, and I mean courageous, is, is this well, whole, uh, you, this, 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 this uh, uh, on the left, they have a soft spot in their heart for some reason for this Islamic culture that hates gays and women oh well, you know why and, and what, well but but you're going to do something you're going to no, stock home no, well no i've got news on that actually uh -oh. I'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you i only broke the news yesterday so i don't blame you for not reading it but i will send you links to my um to, to where you can find news okay. by and about me breitbart.com slash milo um which if you'd read you'd know i'm just kidding um, <laughs> <laughs> i've been reading you for months i, I, I got a lot of things to do I know, God's sake. I, know. I, I never get angry if people don't know unless it's like three days later and it's like you should have read it by now right. anyway no no I'm just i'm just kidding i'm just teasing I'm, I'm just uh, so you're not I'm going just, to Stockholm. I'm just heckling you. Well, so uh, the, first of all, I'll ask, answer the, the the first bit. The reason the left likes Islam so much is Islam hates the West just like they do. 
You know, Islam hates Western liberal democratic... <laughs> so they have that in common. Well, exactly. Western liberal democratic capitalism. Right. Well, you know, the mullahs hate that. The middle, in the Middle East, they hate that. So do feminists. So does Black Lives Matter. So does the New York Times. You know, so does Mike and Gorka and BuzzFeed and Vox and all the other new media publications that have insane politics. You know, the, the student union politics. Uh, they have the same analysis of the West that Islam does. So, of course, they get on. No, we did a security assessment. I was going to uh, lead a gay pride march through a Muslim ghetto in Sweden. Not to get at Muslims, because that's mean, but to draw attention to um, the, culture. the hypocrisy yeah. of liberal elites who stick up for and pander to and mollycoddle Islam while um, that, you know, that faith and the culture that surrounds it oppresses women and murders homosexuals. A hundred million people live in countries where you can be executed for being gay. All of those countries are Muslim. Uh, now, one, one thing that one thing that I wanted to do was go, lead this gay pride march through a Muslim ghetto in Sweden because Sweden is one of the worst of this and it, Sweden is terrible to its women. It's no. supposedly this feminist it, paradise yeah. but they have forbidden the police from mentioning the ethnicity or religion of assailants in sexual assault cases. So there aren't even statistics on who's doing the rape in Sweden even though everybody knows and even though everybody knows that um, Islamic immigration has made Malmo the rape capital of Europe. We did a security assessment and determined that it was simply not safe. No, uh, no, no, there was, yeah, there was, there was too much of a risk that I wouldn't come back. Uh, and okay. I was sad about it. I, I wanted to do it anyway, and, and Breitbart said, no, you can't. It was can't. a great idea, brilliant effort said, on your they part. They said, no, you can't. And, um, uh, and my question is simply, how long until it's not safe in London? You, you, well, that's, that's what I was going to ask. Just how, so you know. How long until just, it's not safe just so you know, in London? You know? I diametrically disagree with almost everything you say. But I find it to be incredibly well, so you're, entertaining you're to be and wrong. funny that's and okay. smart. You're allowed to be wrong. But I let you talk. What do you, you, what do you disagree with? No, everything. No, no, I, I, don't, one, I don't believe that all of a sudden political correctness is going to go away when Trump takes over. No, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You asked me. I said no. One step. I explained the general effect of Trump was positive. So we don't disagree on that. No, no, we do disagree. I think Trump is a disaster, a cancer. Sir, I think he has, and everything we call oh. Trump, he's caused on himself. But hey, yeah, I know. But right? hey, I was not briefed. But hey, you know, I was of not course you before are. I came on this show that you were going to be leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, I was not. I was not warned but about you. But I did you. tell you I was in London last year. Yes. And um, I was surprised. I knew before going in, but I was surprised to see how many Muslims I saw on the streets. You're telling me yeah. that you keep, you keep going home, kind of jokingly, but not really, because you're so not sure is going to be there, right? No, right. Londonistan. I mean, I live in East London, a very nice bit of East London, but East London, and East London, um, you know, is, is becoming like, a, like the third world. I mean, you walk through certain bits of Whitechapel in East London, and it is indistinguishable from Raqqa, and I'm not even exaggerating. But, uh, the streets, and, are, and, and the and streets not... are filthy. The shop fronts are all these, like, disgusting, like, um, horrible veg stalls. You know, everybody and I do mean everybody is in a burqa or the male equivalent. But that's the thing. And you don't see a white... F I mean, there's a video online, right, where somebody just walks down the street in Whitechapel for, for I think it's for two and a half minutes and there's not a single white person. But that's the thing. The Muslims don't assimilate the way other cultures do when they come here. So, so Hillary Quite Clinton essentially wants to turn into Angela Merkel. She wants to allow this uh, yeah, sort of immigration in in, and she wants the Syrian refugees. Donald Trump says, no, we, 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 we're going to turn into London, Sweden, etc., etc., et Paris, want, Brussels. I don't want them here. I don't want them here for your sake because we've seen what happens in Europe. Look it's, at Orlando. You well, know, well, Orlando's the just And the left, just the the left wore blinders to the whole there, thing. There are millions and millions of Muslims here. Look at Orlando. Look at Mateen, no, no. who, by the way, who, by the way, Orlando was, a, is who, by the way, was, a, first first was a frustrated homosexual. No, 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 who, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. There's no evidence of that. There's no, no evidence, evidence of that. Of that. No. Showing up in Look gay the clubs the for no, years when he's married. No, there's no evidence of that. There's no evidence of that. It was reported by left-wing outlets that he was on gay apps. There's no evidence. It came out there was no evidence. The two people who said they'd had relationships with him were both discredited. One of them was a serial liar and a fantasist, right. and the other one had, you know, could not provide any evidence whatsoever they had a relationship with him, or even that he knew him. All yeah. this stuff was debunked. The reason the left came up with this, he's a frustrated gay, is yeah. because they wanted to say that this was about homophobia. Take away from terrorism, right? Well, no, exactly. Yeah. So, so, you know, this, like, he this, shouted You see, I've realized now Absolutely. the extent to which we disagree is well. simply, you're, you know, simply you're not I reading wide well. enough. I've got it now. I've, got <laughs> it. I've understood <laughs> now. The only things we disagree on are things you haven't read widely enough on. So now I've forgiven you. See, I can't kick your ass, it'll be a hate crime. <laughs> no, isn't that insane? Isn't that insane? Isn't yeah. it crazy that it's more of a crime to hit me than it is to hit anyone else? Everyone wants to hit me. Like, well, what, what, how, could, how, could that, Bernie, how could that be more no, of a crime? No, That's no. ridiculous. Listen, we, we got even you back. I wouldn't, even I wouldn't blame somebody for wanting to hit me. We got you back. That should, Milo, be, listen, should we're be, out be much less of a crime. We are out of time. Milo Yiannopoulos on the oh, Bernie fantastic. and Shit Show. You, you are fabulous Thank as you advertised. Me. And, uh, Thank listen, you so much. Godspeed and come back. Back, all right, a standing ovation. Smiley Yiannopoulos on Bernie and Sid back after this. Thank you. Seven. Movie are up next.